Hey everybody, this is Eddie from E11 World and today I have a really nice tutorial for everybody out there who's on Windows. Sorry Mac guys. Um, this is something I learned a few months ago and uh, it was like probably the best thing I learned in, in like maybe five years about computers. So it really really saved me uh, quite a bit of hassle and I think it will help everyone out there and I'm sure you're gonna love it. So, um, yeah, basically, I will cr tell you and show you how you can create more space in your main hard drive. And this does require another hard drive. So, for those who are on laptops, um, who let's say have only 128 gigs, especially if it was an SSD, um, generally higher uh, capacity ones are a lot more expensive. Though, so this will be a really good way to add another drive. Let's say you know, a 500 gig drive with, for, let's say, maybe 60 or $80, depends on where you are. Um, or if you have a mach machine like mine that I'm using right now, which has more um, more than one drive. Uh, so I'll be using the two drives to kind of, um, you know, balance it out and, and save some room on my main C drive. So this works using command line prompts, and I'll show you uh, what Windows uh, Microsoft have on this. So just a bit of uh, information so you can kind of get the idea. So this is actually the, the command line that you will we'll be using in a second. And um, we'll need to run it as administrator. And I'll show you in a second here. So make link, uh, MK link is what we'll be using. And this is the description which um, we, you need to pay attention to. So slash J for junction is what, what it will, will be using. And it creates a directory junction. So what that means, and you know what, let me uh, also show you this tab here. So it's like creating hard links and junctions. This is what they're, they're talking about here. And not as much information as I liked on their site. And, and that's kind of a, you know, something that I think a huge feature. If I was Microsoft, I'd be all over this feature. I think I'd be pumping this out and pushing it like it's the best thing out there. I mean, when Mac was uh, introducing Time Machine, they went all crazy and, and did all the marketing that made it look like it was the best thing in the world. And uh, even though, yeah, it's very nice, but, you know, I'm not going to get into that. So make junction, I mean, make link. This is huge for Windows users. So I have created a couple of folders, and let me drag this into here. So I have um, on my C drive... Uh, if you go, for example, into your videos, and you can test this out on whatever you like. Uh, so I'm testing it on this one right now. And on my F drive, I have created a folder called the 11 world, and I have this uh, small video file here, so I can show you. And um, I've also opened up command uh, prompt in as administrator, and you can do this by going to your start menu, pushing CMD, or, you know, well, I have it right there. So you can run as administrator, right click, and then that. Um, or click um, Control, Shift, Enter on your um, on your keyboard. Type that, sorry, not click. And that'll open this up. You might need to just say yes to the whole permissions thing and then get this going. And, um, yeah, so I have that ho here. And um, I have the two folders. So the next thing here is, uh, let me drag this into here so I'll, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. Basically, we want to copy over from this drive to, well, this drive in my case. Um, so I want to save some room in my C drive because I'm running out of space. I've already done this uh, about a bit of times. So I'm actually like way over full. Uh, my 256 gig, which is 232 in this case because of the whole uh, you know bit thing. Um, yeah, so I was running out of room and this really, really helped me. A friend of mine at work uh, told me about this and since that day, I mean, I don't think I'll ever forget this friend if we were to ever go our separate ways. And um, shout out to you, Nadim. Thank you very much, sir. So anyways, we're saving a lot of room here by copying files to, to this directory and then doing something like a shortcut. So that's what the whole directory um, junction is. And uh, it's, it's not like a hard link what they're, they were telling you in, in their help section, but it's sort of something like, like the shortcut thing. So anyways, now that we have this in our way, let's get going. 
So, and, and let me pull these steps that you're, we're going to follow. So first thing to do is make a backup of your folder. So let's say your videos had all these folders here. The first thing you want to do is copy it over to, uh, you know, for example, here or somewhere else, where, wherever you want to copy it to. And that's the first thing. And then I have renamed both folders. You actually don't really need to rename both folders, but you need to rename this one if this is the one that we're going to copy from. Um, sometimes depends on what you are trying to rename. You might have complications and that's where uh, maybe a tool like um, uh, Unlocker would help. So you can actually rename it anyways. So I'm not going to rename this one. I'll show you in this test folder that I, I created here. Um, but basically when you rename it, um, that's where you can, it will, th this command will create this folder that we're going to um, call uh, like the folder to copy from. And then it, you don't need to re rename this part. So let's say I have a folder here called videos, right? You don't need to rename this one, but I do. Uh, it's just a habit. So let's say this is the actual videos folder that I copied um, all my stuff to. So let's say this was full of stuff. I'm going to rename it just in case something goes wrong and I don't, you know, get all my files the way they were. So something that old, whatever, you know, just name it, name it any way you want, right? So now we're into here. So run the following command as admin. Again, don't forget this step. Make sure you're here as administrator. So make link and then forward slash J. You can do these in caps or small letter. It doesn't make a difference. And then uh, we go to C drive for, in my case, and uh, now it's backslashes, users, user, which will be your username, and then the folder name to copy from. So you would do, let's say, videos if you wanted to do the videos, but in my case, I'm going to do uh, test. You know what? Let me just rename this to test. Um, actually, it, it won't let me do this, so undo that, control Z, um, because it will already see that there is a folder called test, so that's why it won't work, and that's what I was mentioning by, you know, renaming some folders may not work. And then space, and the folder you're going to copy to. So in my case, I have F, E11 world, and then this is where, let's say you have the videos called videos with a capital case, it will make the difference. So it'll create the folder name with the capital in the first, or all caps, depends on how you put it. I don't think it makes that much of a difference after all, because, I mean, you're still the exact same um, alphanumeric things. So I'm just going to name it this way, and uh, we're going to hit enter. All right. So junction created, and you see what happened here. It created this folder with a shortcut thing, um, and there's no folder here. So I'll, I'll show you what that means in a second. But this is the message you get, and basically it's telling you that these two are linked. And so if I go to this, it won't do anything. It'll say that the folder is not there and whatever. So because the folder is not here, and because this folder is empty, I'm going to go ahead and rename it to test. Or actually, sorry, videos. So. All right. So now when I go open this folder, it opens this. Even though you're actually seeing this uh, path, it's actually referencing this video. And let me demonstrate that. So the, the video file, videos file is empty, uh, folder. So if I'm going to drag this to here, watch what happens on this side here. All right. Boom. It shows it. And if I open it, this is the same fo folder. So this is where you're going to see the benefit. And it's huge, huge, huge benefit. I can't believe, I mean, I didn't know about this. And for the longest time, I, this was like, oh my God, I need to save room on my C drive. So, and then just to demonstrate this again, so I copied over from here um, to this folder, or I moved it, and it showed up here. So now if I go open this and I delete this one here, um, or actually I'm not going to delete it, I'm just going to move it to my desktop, right? It's going to move out of here. And this is the benefit. So basically, your system thinks that this folder is, is here on the C drive, while in, in reality it's actually on, on this drive. And so, yeah, obviously you'll need both drives for this to work, especially if you have stuff like applications which are depending on, um, you know, certain files. For example, you can have Photoshop um, linking, I don't know, brushes or something in a folder, 
and that folder is on your C drive, but now, you know, brushes got too out of hand. Let's say you have a gig or two gigs of just brushes, and uh, you want to move that to this drive. And, you know, when you open up Photoshop, it might not notice these uh, files because they're now missing, and, then, you know, you get into this whole headache. But now, after you do this, it won't matter because it is still a thing that is actually placed here. And that's where the shortcut is not the same thing. You can't just make a new folder and have a shortcut and, and link to it because it won't look the same way. It might work for some things like where, you know, your plugins uh, directory, if you are upgrading from, for example, uh, I don't know, CC 2014 uh, to like 2015. So I can create uh, something like a, a shortcut from my 2014 to 15 and uh, that will work the same way in some in some cases but anyway this is the fix that um, I think is worth everything I mean I can't believe I didn't know about this for so many years and I, I can't stress this enough but it's like really really valuable I think this piece of information makes everything easier uh, on someone who needs a lot more of the hard drive space so Anyway, this is the last step, and uh, make sure you test it like I did, and then you're good to go. So, I hope this tutorial was very useful to everyone, uh, especially on Windows. I'm constantly running out of space on my C drive, and this was just gold. I mean, it, it's just amazing and uh, so easy to use, so easy to do for anyone. And um, anyways, so uh, the only thing that you need to, I guess... Um, uh, do is, is buy another hard drive which uh, shouldn't be that expensive and um, if anything I mean you can always just buy a, a flash drive like uh, you know those cheap 64 gig ones and whatnot and use that as your backup and you know you can find on eBay Amazon whatever it's uh, it's all available and um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, I, I do think that you know you will definitely use it at some point i hope you found it useful if you did please like share and subscribe send this to everyone i mean share it as much as you can i think not not for my benefit really this is i just want this information to be known by everyone on windows i think this saves quite a bit of of stress if you're running out of space so i'm going to do my part to share it with all my friends and family and i hope you do the same yeah i guess i will see you guys in the next video so Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.